Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we have two polynomials, one in the numerator, one in the denominator, and we're trying to evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity. Again, when you plug in infinity in the numerator and denominator, you end up with infinity squared divided by infinity squared. You don't want to do that, so again, you're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x to whatever exponent you need in order to get all the x's in the denominator. So in this case, you're going to, if the highest exponent is 2, you're going to divide by an x squared. If this was x cubed, you would have to divide by 1 over x cubed. And so we want to do the same for the denominator. Of course, if you don't do that, both for the numerator and the denominator, of course, you change the, the equation. You don't want to do that. So this way, you have the expression being exactly the same as before. So this cannot be written as the limit as x approaches infinity, and when we multiply this through, we get uh, 2 divided by, well, actually, x squared divided by x squared is 1, so that's 2 minus x divided by x squared is 1 over x, and plus 5 divided by x squared is 5 over x squared. So the numerator then simplifies to that, and now you can see how we can plug in the limit in the numerator. We do the same for the denominator. x squared divided by x squared is 1, so we get 7 plus x divided by x squared is 1 over x, so we get 4 divided by x, and then 1 minus 1 over 1 divided by x squared gives us x squared. So what we did now is we multiplied 1 over x squared times every term in the numerator, 1 over x squared times every term in the denominator. And now it's in a form that we can plug in the limit, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to 2 minus 1 over infinity plus 5 over infinity squared divided by 7 plus 4 over infinity minus 1 over infinity squared. And again, when we divide by infinity or infinity squared, no matter how big the number is in the numerator, that of course is equal to 0, so this becomes 2 minus 0 plus 0 divided by 7 plus 0 minus 0. Of course, that's simplified to 2 divided by 7, and that is the limit of this expression when we let x go to infinity. And that's how we do that.